Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the main bar and the distribution bar. In case of the slabs, we mostly differentiate these two types of the bars. Let's consider that this is any slab and the slab is supported by the beams and columns. So I'm going to differentiate between these two types of the bars by considering this figure. So the main bar, the first difference is So, the first difference is that the main bars are provided to take the bending stresses. So, mostly the bending stresses are resisted by the main bars. If I consider this is any slab, so when slab deflect in this direction, let's consider this is the slab deflection. So, we provide the main bars in order to take the bending stresses. So, the first reason to provide the main bar is to take the bending stresses while the distribution bars are responsible to take the shrinkage or the thermal stresses due to the temperature variation. So, the distribution bars are provided to take thermal or shrinkage stresses due to the temperature variation. When there is temperature variation in the slab, so these bar distribution bars are responsible to take these thermal stresses or the shrinkage stresses due to the variation in the temperature. So this was the main difference between these two types of the bar. The main bars are responsible to take the main bending stresses while these bars are responsible to take the shrinkage or the thermal stresses. The second difference is So, the main bars are always provided at the bottom face. If I consider this is the slab, if I consider this is the slab, so main bars should always be provided in, on the bottom face. Let's consider these are the main bars. While on the top of these main bars, we provide the distribution bars. So, these are the main bars and they are placed at the bottom face of the slab. While the distribution bars, so the distribution bar are provided at the top of the main bar. So if these are the main bars, so distribution bars are provided on the top of these main bars. So this is the second difference and why we provide these bars on the top of the main bar because they are not going to take the main stresses that is the bending stresses so we need to have more effective depth for the bending stresses so that's why we provide the main bar below on the bottom face while distribution bars don't need to have more effective depth so that's why we provide this on the top of the main bar so this was the second difference the third difference is The third difference is that the main bar is always larger in dimension. If we have two bars, let's suppose these are the main bar, so the main bar should always be greater in the dimension than that of the distribution bar. If this is, let's suppose, 25 mm bar provided is the main bar, so the distribution bar, this is the distribution bar, so it will be always less than the main bar, it may be 20 millimeter. So the distribution bar. So the distribution bar is always smaller in dimension than that of the main bar. So they have always less dimension than that of the main bar. If we have one way slab, now if we have two way slab, then the distribution bars play the same role as the main bars. So these are the main differences between the main bar and the distribution bar. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.